a superstar playing the villain in a black and white horror film a breezy romantic comedy in an age where the rom-com genre is apparently dead a survival thriller based on a real life incident shot at one of the most mysterious dangerous locations in tamil nadu why are these three malayalam films bramayugam premalu and manjumal boys raging a storm at not only the kerala box office but also across the neighboring states to packed houses which even native films of those states are not managing to do in today's video i wanted to talk about the common points between these three movies what made them work what makes malayalam cinema so different and the notes that every other industry needs to be taking from them right now the art of breaking the star system please tell me if this is happening in any other industry right now a superstar who has been in this industry for more than 40 years someone who has been looked up to by fans as a demigod plays the devil in an atmospheric horror film set in the 17th century captured in full glorious black and white in the real world and in the film industry most people who really work hard and make a name for themselves reach a point in life when they say i have struggled a lot to get to this place let me not take any risks and lose what i have but among these there's also a rare breed who climbs to a whole new level and says who cares about playing safe i am just going to have fun mamuti is one among those rare breed of superstars who at the age of 72 is experimenting like an ambitious newcomer brick by brick he is breaking himself out of that 2 by 2 room of what a superstar can do with his roles in unda pulu kannur squad nanpagal nerthamayakam tadal and now bramayukam part of these moves are his conviction and the rest is the industry that is courageous enough to reinvent him and an audience that is welcoming enough to continue celebrating him no matter what he does while they break the star system with bramayugam with manjumal boys and premalu malayalam cinema practices the art of making characters the stars traditionally most films feature a male lead a female lead and an antagonist if we are lucky sometimes some of these characters are well written and well developed but when it comes to the other characters but take premalu mainly the story of sachin and reenu who the audience is rooting for to get together at some point in the film but girish ad the filmmaker and one of the writers of the film decides to make sachin a regular aimless kind of a loser character and his friend amal davis a much more sorted character amal davis is smarter more self aware more progressive and also has the best lines in the film girish also makes reenu an independent ambitious no nonsense girl with a mind of her own with very specific pre- references on what she looks for in a partner but at the same time beyond these main characters he also breathes life into kartika her friend who has a role to play and a purpose to exist even their roommate who they call wanderlust who has a personality of her own you feel her presence when she's there and her absence when she's not there there's also another introvert character who has an arc of his own even if it is a very very short role whereas manjumal boys is a genre film it's a survival thriller film but what really really elevates it and what what's making it work right now is the brotherhood between this huge group of friends and director chidambaram makes you spend the first 40 minutes just getting to know them while they drink fight work not work play tug of war or plan a trip even if most of them can't afford it each and every moment from the first half which you thought was random has a callback in the second half which digs really really deep into what really makes these friends stick together what makes their friendship so special so intimate so tight and this is what makes the film so impactful in the end it's not like the malayalam audience does not celebrate its stars they do but compared to the other industries because of their smaller budgets and their literary tradition the average audience is kerala is exposed to much more realistic and content driven cinema and a film success is much less dependent on the commercial formula of star power and more on the story its characters and performances so more than looking up at stars the malayalam audience gets to develop a bond with the characters on screen who are more or less just like them the art of showcasing a location i came across some tweets that said that the beauty with which premalu has portrayed hyderabad even most telugu films haven't been able to do so if you watch enough telugu films tell me if you agree or disagree but for myself i was someone who was born in hyderabad but i have never had the opportunity to go back or explore my birthplace but after this film i feel like packing my bags manjumal boys is only the second film after guna after more than 30 years to be shot at guna caves in kodaikanal and the film does such a great job of immersing you into the location that it makes your heart stop malayalam filmmakers are not just masters of exploring the beauty of their own state but look at how varane avashamund or ridayam show chennai or how bangalore days showcases bangalore this may be because a huge percentage of young malayalis 
go outside their state to study or to find work and malayalam filmmakers apply this outsider's perspective so beautifully to portray places beyond their state and their comfort zone in their films related to this malayalam cinema is also great at the art of paying tributes <laughs> Most of the industries are great at playing tributes to their own stars. They are also great at including a star from another industry, mostly for a cameo in the film, which is a business decision to increase the pan-Indian appeal of their films. But while on one side the Telugu and Tamil audience are fighting each other on social media for some reason, Malayalam films casually, openly, so lovingly pay tribute to the films from their neighboring states. <laughs> One example is how Amal Davis's character in Premalu so passionately defends his favorite music director Yuvan Shankar Raja. But more than that, an iconic song from the combo of Kamal Hasan and Elai Raja, two legends who created a song together which has such a strong legacy of over 30 years, a song that resides deep within the hearts of every Tamilian. The makers of Manjumal Boys decided to take that song and not just pay tribute to it. They use it at such a point in the film in such an incredible emotional manner that it doesn't just make your skin explode with goosebumps it changes the entire context of one of the most iconic tamil film songs of history and also changing the relationship that you had with the song the tamil audience is absolutely going bonkers for this shows for the film are increasing every day across different parts of tamil nadu now making manjumal boys the all time highest grossing malayalam film in tamil nadu most of the times when someone pays a tribute to a star or a film or a song from another industry it feels forced dishonest sometimes even cringe but when malayalam cinema pays tribute in a majority of cases it feels genuine like a young innocent lover boy writing a love letter to the crush that he will never forget in his life if you've not watched any of these three films please go watch it on the biggest screen possible tell me if you agree or disagree with any of the views expressed in this video but for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time